What's up everyone, welcome to today's video. As you guys probably know by now, Bounty Hunter was removed in yesterday's update. And the reason for the removal is purely because Jagex couldn't deal with all the, um, you know, all the botting and the boosting going on. So what they did instead is put all the rewards here in Last Man Standing. And that means LMS might actually be one of the best places to make money now. We're also gonna be teaching you guys how to play LMS and how to make the maximum amount of points per hour. And of course we are giving away the Elijah Spirit Shield. We were gonna do it today, but I've run out of time. Like I've literally got two, three hours and and I've got to go for a bit. So we're going to do it in my next video instead. Just like, subscribe, leave a comment down below with your Inscape username and what you enjoyed most about the vid. And remember, we're no longer doing one winner. We're going to be selling the Elijah and then picking 20 winners to split the money through. So it's going to be like 45 mil each. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. Here we have the supplier chest. This is where you sort out your starting gear. Now, when it comes to tri breeding, I prefer bottom switching over top switching, but yeah, it's completely up to you how you want to set up your inventory. Like there's no best setup. It's yeah, it's all just preference. And over here we have just Christine. She is the person that you're going to get your rewards from. I'm not sure what the most profitable things are to buy yet, but um, yeah, we'll do that towards the end of the video. So make sure you watch until then. And once you've set up your inventory, you just click on this portal and bam, you're now in a game. What I do is I always pre-brew. That way I'm full health, take magic and have your augury on. What you want to do is basically freeze your opponent as fast as you possibly can. Okay, we get some nice upgrades. We've got a wand. Let's upgrade this as well. Now that I've got a code I want, it'd be smart for me to prioritize my magic and my melee since, um, yeah, rune crossbow is kind of weak compared to them. Whereas if I got like an armadillo crossbow or something, then obviously I wouldn't mage very much. I'd, you know, use the armadillo crossbow. So that's how you should be tribrating here. Work with your upgrades because, yeah, that's how you're going to win games. All right, looks like everyone here is in a fight. So I'm just going to make, oh wait, that guy just died. Now the best way to win in these is freeze someone and then use safe spotting like this. So freeze, run back here, run under him, whip, run back under. Bolt, go back under, go have to refreeze him. That way I'm gonna have a lot more hits than he does, and it's gonna give me a better chance to win. Go for another DDS here, just cause. It's gonna dark bro spec me, it's a bit weird. And of course, whenever you get a kill, you get a bloody key. Just open up this chest and that's how you get your upgrades. Now that the screen is starting to get dark, that means I have to move towards the safe zone. So just keep moving towards like, I don't know, away from the dark area. And then at some point there's gonna be an arrow on the screen. There it is. I'm gonna kill this guy first though. Hello, come, come here. Where's he running off to? Good fight, bro. Weird lag going on. Okay, we're gonna get here's Aram's rope top. That's a big upgrade, actually. Being able to catch freezes here is so important. It's probably the most important thing because it means you can safe spot. And safe spotting is what's gonna make you win over and over again. All right, we got Sia's ring. We also got full barrows now. So yeah, this is looking good. Nice rapier upgrade as well. Beautiful, this is looking good. Had him. And dead. Good fight, man. It's a weird lag whenever someone dies. Might be because there's so many people outside. Okay, I could get the occult, but it doesn't help with mage accuracy, so I'm not gonna bother. Oh, we did get an infernal cape though. Infernal cape is a nice upgrade. Gonna keep that. Seventy two. Because I have such good mage accuracy stuff as well, he's going to be splashing a lot because mage accuracy translates to um 
Oh, dead. Yeah, because Mage Accuracy translates to Mage Defense. So, um, yeah, people are going to be splashing on you a lot more. Every win you get, you're going to get six to seven points. So, um, yeah, hopefully you win most of them. We're going to be doing this for roughly one hour just to see how much money we can possibly make in that hour. But yeah, super long intro. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Should be lots of fun. Let's see how much money we can get. He's dead. Good fire, man. Easy, quick upgrade. Do we get any good upgrades from him? We did. Armadillo crossbow, yes please. Now this right here, the heavy ballista, if you guys get one of these, I highly recommend you use it. But I personally don't enjoy it, and that is the reason I'm gonna drop it. It's just a super overpowered weapon here, and um, yeah. If you guys get it, make sure you use it, but yeah, I don't want to use it because fuck that. Oh yeah, and if you ever run into these, these crates, feel free to open it. Yes, we got a VLS. That's the best weapon in this game, bro. Yeah, as soon as you get a VLS, that's pretty much an automatic win. Just make sure that you're prioritizing this and you're ranged and you should be fine. Hey, there's another chest over here. Nah, we don't need it. This guy's a VLS as well, bro. What the hell? 56. Back to back. 38 dead. Good fight, bro. This is We're gonna actually take this VLS because I don't want anyone to loot it. Open these keys. Nice. We now get better magic gear. So it's another seven points to add to our collection. Easy peasy. Yeah, as soon as you get like max mage and VLS, it's yeah, if you do everything right, then it's an easy win. Thirty-five, thirty-five. Good fibro. Colt necklace. I actually use that. And what did we get from chest? Another occult necklace. We did get some legs though. <laughs> yes, dead yet. <laughs> oh, smoked. Bro, Gmo is so much fun. Good fight, man. It's the closest fight so far, and from a um, ultimate Iron Man as well. Interesting. He did severely outgear us, so it does make sense. Quickly gear up. These guys are still fighting, so have a little bit of time to, you know, get my gear on. Usually, if it takes too long to upgrade, don't like waste a whole lot of time because if you're getting attacked while you're upgrading, it's yeah, usually it's not worth it. Like this guy, for example, can you give me a sec? It's because he's trying to loot everything off the floor, and he doesn't want me to attack him halfway. But I know how important momentum is, so we're gonna attack him as soon as we can, so we get as many points as possible. Because this is PvP. Not church. Combo! <laughs> Smoked. You're good fine, man. And that right there is why you keep it nice and simple, otherwise you can be stuck in that position. Okay, we get Dragon Claws. Oh, and Javelins, bro. Perfect upgrades. And when someone freezes you and stands under like this, just spam click them, bro. Just pray the correct thing, spam click them until that runs out. And as soon as they're free frozen, smoke them. <laughs> I 
Oh, poor lad. Another win to add to the collection. Combo style. <laughs> Did he just catch a freeze like that? What the hell? Magic is so broken on this game, bro. Yeah, he's frozen behind the wall. Go under. Go under again. I'm gonna enjoy doing that to this guy. If you're completely new to this and you don't really know how to try bread, the most important thing that you can do is make sure that you don't miss any ticks. Like keep spam clicking your opponent and get as many hits onto him as possible. Even if you just camp ranged in melee, just make sure that you hit him at least as many times as he hits you. All right, we're coming up very close to the one hour we're at 57 minutes. So we're gonna be able to kill one of these guys and hopefully get our seven points. And then we'll buy some stuff from the shop and see how much GP per hour this is. Oh wow, <laughs> the guy forgot to eat. That was really quick and easy. Okay, that is, yo, that's exactly one hour done. That's kind of pog champ. Okay, we started with 2597 points and now we're at 2651, which is 54 points, I believe. I'm still not too sure what we should buy. I'll do some calculations now, but according to Jagex, the amount of money I should have made is roughly 20K per point. And since we got 54 points, it should be roughly one to 1.1 mil, but um, yeah, we'll see. Okay, I just went ahead and tested pretty much every single item. It looks like the best item to buy is the mole handles. These are about 22, 23K per point, which is you know the most by far, to be honest. And then everything else, like the dragon bolts, the um, anglerfish, the rune arrows, these are all roughly 17k per point, which is still pretty decent. It's a lot more consistent as well. Imagine like the price in this might fluctuate, but um, yeah, for now, we're just going to be buying these and then the rest of the points will, yeah, fill them up with that. I'm just going to sell all of them for minimum value, assuming that we're just going to bulk buy, bulk sell. Not bad at all. We made 1.1 mil. Now, this is probably near the maximum amount of money that you can make per hour at LMS, and that's mostly because I, I know how to play the game, but a lot of views are going to be big beginners intermediates and because of that I imagine it's probably going to be closer to 300 to 700k per hour for you guys but if you are a pro at PKing, just yeah there's a lot of money to be made there and the best parts about it as well it's completely risk-free you can log on to a level 3 account and do it like you don't even need a max main and it's actually pretty fun like I'd rather do this all day than you know sit there at rune dragons or something like imagine you're completely free to play but you know how to PK it'll take you three four hours just to get enough money to buy a bond yeah it's going to be it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it I know it's a little bit different we'll probably Probably do another one in the future and um yeah be more specific and do it like a last man standing guide video you know what i mean yeah we're gonna be doing the elijah and spiritual giveaway probably tomorrow so watch out for that and um yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed the vid see you tomorrow